Now there are strong rumors that Henry Cavill is about to officially announce his exit from Amazon after they desperately tried to bribe him. It clearly looks like Henry is done with woke Amazon's tactic to make him accept whatever they say. But as a strong man, what Henry would do, you could already guess. True to form, Henry's stance is what you'd expect. Stay loyal to the beloved source material that millions of fans love, or don't even bother striking a deal, or worse, trying to sway him with bribes. Well, this was almost expected. Amazon has reportedly stooped to new lows to push its agenda, even attempting to bribe Henry to soften his stance on Warhammer 40,000k lore changes. While it's still just a rumor, connecting the dots makes it seem pretty plausible. And where do these dots lead? Right to Games Workshop, the major stakeholder of the Warhammer universe. Games Workshop had already hinted at serious tension between Henry and Amazon, noting they'd do nearly anything to keep him on board. Anything but reversing the controversial and woke changes. They've also expressed concern that Henry might walk away from the project altogether after Amazon's rumored attempt to bribe him into compromising on the source material. But here's the interesting thing. Henry's a man of resilience and true to his promises. So while it's just a rumor, Warhammer 40k has a huge problem, one that is only getting worse and worse at an exponential rate and, if isn't course corrected soon, could have dire consequences for the future of the franchise. Now, of course, I'm talking about the relentless oversaturation of Space Marines within the last decade. It sure seems so legit. Let's rewind a bit. This all started back in June when YouTuber Arch from the Archcast channel made a big claim. He suggested that the whole Warhammer 40k production with Amazon might be on shaky ground. Arch broke it down pretty clearly, explaining that as it stands, Games Workshop and Amazon have a handshake agreement. Nothing solid, nothing set in stone. Right now, he says, a team of Amazon writers is busy hammering out a story that's supposed to become the Warhammer 40K show. But here's the twist in the story. They only have a few months left on their deadline to deliver something Amazon can actually greenlight. So what happens if Amazon doesn't like what they see? According to Arch, there are three ways this can play out. Amazon gives the green light, they push the deadline to buy more time for a better script, or they shelve the whole thing entirely. But if you're thinking, it sounds pretty vague, that's exactly it. Arch even said his insider at Amazon hasn't seen any real money or commitment flow into this project. No fully assembled writing team, no firm budget, and certainly no final plans. We're talking about whispers in the wind at this point. And now, Games Workshop has just confirmed that this isn't just fan speculation. Their annual report lays it all out. Amazon and Games Workshop have a 12-month period to hash out creative guidelines for any Warhammer 40,000 productions, which ends in December 2024. If they can't agree, the deal is dead. It's that simple. Games Workshop's exact words were, the agreement will only proceed if the creative guidelines are mutually agreed. So while it's exciting to imagine Cavill headlining a Warhammer epic, this isn't a done deal yet, folks. Here's another twist, though. If things do go well with 40K, Amazon has an option to expand their empire into the Warhammer fantasy universe. Games Workshop's report specifies that if the Warhammer 40,000 project gets the green light and goes well, Amazon could go on to produce Warhammer fantasy series or films. So this deal isn't just a one-off, it's a potential franchise on the line. Games Workshop first dropped hints about this back in December 2023, when they announced a terms agreement with Amazon and MGM Studios. They proudly stated it was all set to bring Warhammer 40K to both the big and small screens. Well, back in July, we had an update, and it's one we've all been longing to hear. We've now signed the full agreement, and the next stage can begin. But with all this uncertainty, the clock is ticking. Amazon and Games Workshop have until December 2024 to settle their differences and see if this dream project will finally come to life or fade away into Warhammer legend. Everything is now in suspense. Quietly over the last several years, I've had this huge fear that the franchise I'm so passionate about is slowly turning into the Space Marine universe. And now Games Workshop has made it official. They're assembling a top tier team of Warhammer devoted screenwriters to make this universe come alive and leading the charge, none other than Henry Cavill himself, ready to don the hat of executive producer. Bringing his passion, his vision, and yes, maybe even his sword or spear to the project. This elite band of writers are all in to make sure Warhammer stays true to its roots, all under Cavill's watchful eye. As for when we can finally expect this on our screens, Games Workshop is laying it out. Creating a production on this scale isn't a quick process. We're talking two to three years before anything actually lands on screen. 
But the gears are officially turning, and Games Workshop promises to keep us in the loop with updates and teasers. The journey started back in December 2022, when Cavill announced on Instagram that he was stepping into the Warhammer Cinematic Universe, just after confirming he wouldn't return as Superman in James Gunn's Superman Legacy. In his announcement, he poured out his lifelong dream. For 30 years, he has dreamt of seeing a Warhammer universe in live action. Now, after 22 years of experience in this industry, he finally feels that he has the skill set and experience to guide a Warhammer cinematic universe into life. Teaming up with Natalie Viscuso at Vertigo was key to landing Warhammer's new home at Amazon, which Cavill believes will give them the scale and freedom needed to be true to this vast universe. To all of you Warhammer fans out there, I promise to respect this IP that we love. I promise to bring you something familiar and fantastic. Uh, I, have, I have a Warhammer question for you, and I have to admit this comes from my producer, Peter. Okay. I don't know too much about Warhammer myself, so I'm just gonna read it as written. Okay. Uh, there okay. are lots of rumors about which 40K army is your favorite at the moment. Care to set the record straight about your favorite faction in 10th edition? Well, um, I haven't played 10th edition. Uh, oh, okay. But regardless, it's still Custodes. In February, while promoting Argyle, Cavill gave a little more insight during an interview on the Happy Sad Confused podcast. He described it as the greatest privilege of my professional career and hinted at the challenge of staying true to Warhammer lore. He said, it's early days still, but to have this opportunity to bring it to the screen and be at the tiller so it can be faithful is key. He couldn't have made it clearer. This is a passion project that's been brewing in his imagination since he was a kid. And speaking of collaborators, there's been some teasing about a possible partnership with director Matthew Vaughn. When podcast host Josh Horowitz asked Cavill if he'd tried to bring Vaughn into Warhammer or gaming, Cavill grinned and replied, no, not yet. Vaughn, though, was quick to jump in with, gaming? I love gaming. What do you mean gaming at all? But we've spoken. Cavill closed with, yeah, watch the space. Sounds like we might see Vaughn in the Warhammer world sooner rather than later. Cavill has kept his fans updated too, sharing with Collider that Warhammer is progressing very well. Big things are happening and we are very excited. But it feels like it's not the case now. But while things are moving forward on the surface, YouTuber Arch's sources are painting a picture of tension between Games Workshop and Amazon. Apparently, some Amazon execs pushed hard for female Space Marines, a move that Games Workshop firmly opposed. They know it would be a risky play with their fan base, especially given the backlash over introducing female custodes, a far smaller faction than the Space Marines. According to Arch, Games Workshop eventually offered a compromise. Female custodes could be introduced, giving Amazon its female-powered armor while sparing the sacred Space Marine lore from alteration. Arch went on to say that the drama didn't stop there. Allegedly, Amazon used a few strong-arm tactics, like threatening to bring back unauthorized third-party sellers for Warhammer items on Amazon. This included everything from alternative dice to custom bases, and it sent a message. If Games Workshop didn't play ball, Amazon might let these competitors back in. Even more interesting, Arch reported that Amazon's own feedback monitoring bots have detected a significant rise in complaints about their handling of established IPs. The Rings of Power, Wheel of Time, and yes, early murmurs around Warhammer 40K. The complaints are loud enough that Amazon's bots have flagged the trend. Is Amazon listening? Not yet, but if enough fans raise their voices, they might just have to.